What is up, everyone? This is Seth with the Landing Page Dudes, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I am super excited to be sharing with you a new case study that we did for a brand called The Underdays. The Underdays is a woman's brand that creates high quality and sustainable underwear for women all around the world. They approached us because they were looking to increase conversion rates, average order value, and build a better mobile shopping experience. Now, their objectives were clear. They wanted to increase conversion rates on the product page because that's where they send their traffic. So the idea was for us to create an external product page, test it against their current product page, which is what you're looking at right now, and see if we could outperform their benchmark. Now, if you haven't worked with us, that's typically how we work. Brands will come to us, they'll say, hey, this is my product page. It's not converting as it should be. We'd like for you to build a product page and outperform it. So what we do is we build a product page, we, we place it on your Shopify, but we place it externally, meaning it, it can only be found if you are given the link to visit. Now, they run traffic to both the product pages, meaning their current product page and our product page. And after a couple of weeks or a certain amount of clicks, they stop the test to see which page is performing better. And I'll tell you right now, at least 99.7% of the time, it is us. So that was the deal. They wanted us to create a product page for one of their hero products, which is the Everyday Thong. Now, what you're looking at is the product page that we developed, we designed and developed. The idea here was we wanted to increase AOV and conversion rates, but most importantly, we wanted to make sure that we built a better mobile shopping experience. So let me jump into this mobile simulator to give you an idea and I'll also do it here so that you could see the comparison. So if you look at the mobile simulator for the current product page, you know, not that there is anything that's wrong, but for us, we felt that the real estate here could definitely be much better. It has a beautiful big visual, but you don't see much. And we felt that this top fold, it's premium real estate. And we wanted to focus on showing the pricing, showing the five stars, having a touch to zoom feature. And one of the most important things, which is the buy three and save and the buy five and save. This is massive. Not only is it going to increase the average order value, but customers are also going to get more value. We took the inspiration from skims. Uh, they also have this buy three. And for us, it only made sense that if you were purchasing underwear, most of the times you're buying it in packs. So we wanted to give that option where women would know right away as soon as they scroll that if they buy three, um, they save $9. If they buy five, they save 18. I'm saying dollars because it's an American, but here you can see it's in pounds. So buy three, save nine, buy five, save 18. As you scroll below, let me kind of just give you what it looks like. We wanted to simplify things. So you can see how on the current page, everything is small. It's kind of jumbled up. Well, you know, well, what we wanted to do is we wanted to use ample white space, uh, create separation and make everything more digestible. We're using these beautiful circular swatches. That's very easy to click and get what you want. And you can see dynamically how it changes up there. But the most important thing was we introduced the size guide. Now, having worked in the Shopify space for over a decade, I know how crucial it is to have a size guide. Women who are shopping are always going to want to know how does this fit me? Because a lot of the times these products are maybe manufactured in China, maybe they're manufactured in Turkey. And you know what they call small over there might be a different size in America or a different size in UK. So having a size guide, especially for something like underwear is crucial. On top of that, we wanted to add a verbiage customers say say fits true to size it's super important to have that and again it's something that we borrowed uh from skims now as you scroll down the way it works is super cool so let's just say you want to buy the white you choose your size so you're a small now you can see how that call to action becomes available if you don't choose a size it does not highlight now you could choose three for five or five for 72 and that's how we're able to increase that average order value. Below, we wanted to put that Klarna text right underneath the call to action so that shoppers knew that they could pay in 30 days with Klarna. On the current page, 
it's kind of buried underneath the small pricing. And because of the way it's laid out, it doesn't really stand to you. So we thought, you know, what better place to put it than under the call to action. Now, here's a section we're super happy with. The customer didn't have any upsells and it only makes sense that you try and sell as much as you can because the idea is not only to increase conversion rates, but you want to increase average order value. So what we did was we built native upsells. That's right. It's not using any JavaScript or jQuery third-party plugin that loads in an iframe and messes with your page and costs you a recurring fee. We built this natively and the crazy thing about it is that it's fully managed through Shopify's native search and discovery app. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, in the most simplest terms, the customer's able to change these complimentary products from their Shopify and it'll automatically populate. All they have to do is go to their Shopify admin, click on that content, find the, the root product. And then from there, there'll be a section that says complimentary product and they'll be able to change it within a couple of seconds. Another thing that we're super proud of is that we wanted to make sure that, you know, customers were, were, were able to choose the color, they're able to choose the size, and they're able to choose the one, three, and five. Something we're super proud of because typically on these Shopify apps, they only have the call to actions, which will say something like choose options. And then from there, another light box opens. You know, high conversions, means less friction in, in user friendliness. It's, it's, it's a race to the cart. So for us, we wanted to lay everything out, make it digestible. And what you're looking at right now is a smaller iPhone. But when you do look at it on a, like an iPhone 12, 13, 14, it even looks more visual here. The customers can easily pick the colors. They can pick the sizes and they can click on add to cart and it just adds to the order. As you scroll below, you can see we have like similarities. We have the accordions, which is super important to have. But the difference here is the customer has this craziness going on. It's not very clear what we're looking at. We're looking at an image, a beautiful image um, of a beautiful model. But the problem is, is that there's a dark overlay with blue text and white uh, icons. Just too much going on. It's not, di it's not digestible. It's not easy to read. And we wanted to use white space so we could create uh, not something that's just more easily readable, but that just calmed the eyes down. It builds trust. It looks clean. It has a nice aesthetic and it is digestible. So, at, so as you can see, we have these sections because the customer only went straight into the reviews. We created more sections. These storytelling sections are super important. We wanted to make sure that they understood that they had ultimate protection, unrivaled style, and the good thing about this is this is fully editable through, through, through the CMS. So the images, the text, and the call to action, all of them can be changed inside of the CMS. Below, we wanted to create a compare chart. Uh, the main purpose of this, as you know, is we wanted to show the difference between the customer's product and a lot of other high street brands that are using you know, synthetic fabrics, uh, fabrics that trap moisture, and that have harsh seams. Now, I'll tell you something something a little bit private about myself. When I purchase t-shirts or underwear, you could ask my wife, the first thing I do when I come home is I rip off the tags. Nine out of 10 times, there's a hole in one of my shirts or my underwear because it, they drive me crazy. I don't know why they do not make majority of t-shirts or underwear with a printed tag. But you know, I'm kind of going off the marker here, but we really wanted to show the differences. And for someone like me, this was men's underwear and I saw, you know, printed tags, I would most likely want to purchase because my biggest pain point is, is buying different clothing that have those, you know, those annoying plastics that itch your skin, especially in a country like Greece, which I am now when you're very hot. So anyways, that's the compare chart. It's super useful. And you can see through my own personal issues, why I find it to be underneath. We wanted to have a um, image banner to kind of show their mission. And we're using kind of like a darker gradient, but again, all the images are high quality. There's proper padding, there's proper spacing and everything is digestible. Nothing is squeezed. There's no dark colors. There's no, you know, inability like to read text. After that, we have the UGC section. The customer had incredible UGC images and videos. And we said, look, 
we need to use this on the product page. If you know, if you're a female and you want to know what it looks like on a model, why not be able to view it? And the customer had all this content, but they were convinced that it may not work well. So we just we told them, look, we have to have it on this product page, and you can kind of see how it works. Super high quality. It looks really nice. And on mobile, you get to see how it fits. Below, we have the text marquee. And then we jump into the reviews. And what I'll do is I'll show you what this looks like on desktop once more. So you can see the before and after. So this is the before. Small, busy. Here, we're really nailing down on those bundles. We wanted to make everything have the proper spacing, the proper padding. You're not able to, to, to select any of these unless you uh, select a size. We have the upsells that are managed through the search and discovery. We have the content sections left and right, the compare section, the image banner, the UGC, and the text marquee. Now, the results were fantastic. Let me read you the email. Hi, Seth. Great news. Following a comparative ad test between the old and the new PDP, we can confidently say that the new product page has overtaken the old product page in terms of conversion and number of purchases. As discussed, as a next step following the test on Everyday Thong, we will need to roll out this new product page template to the following key products. This is the best email you can receive as an agency owner. And it's exactly what we intended to do. The, you know, the wrong thing would be to create a global product page right off the bat without knowing if it works or not. That's why we build the external product page. We test it against your current one. Once we know we're going to win and you see the performance, we then take those winning ingredients and we spread them across all the other product pages. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you for your time. And I will be back again shortly with another video.